Hi guys, this is Taylor, and long time no see a little bit. I was sick, and then I wasn't sick, and then I did... yeah, sorry. But, today I wanted to do some trash talking. Okay, not trash talking so much as... let me explain. Recently on booktube I've seen a refreshing amount of attention paid to books that people didn't like, and I like that. I feel like there's a little bit of pressure to only really pay attention to the books that you really liked and the books that you would recommend, but I think if you're going to be really honest about what you're reading, then it's only fair that if you really didn't like something, you say so, and you tell the whole truth. And that doesn't make it bad or negative content in my opinion, it's just honest. So having said that, I have with me a handful of books that really disappointed me, and I would like to get these feelings off of my chest. First one might be an unpopular opinion, but we can talk in the comments, and that is The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexie. Now don't get me wrong, I love Sherman Alexie. Uh, the Lone Ranger and Tonto Fistfight in Heaven is one of my favorite books. But this is his attempt at YA and it just failed to accomplish what his adult fiction does for me. This felt very juvenile and that really surprised me because I've encountered a lot of authors who can switch between genres and audiences seamlessly without compromising anything about their voice. But I felt like there was this huge discrepancy between his adult fiction and his YA voice and it just wasn't for me. I will say though, in terms of this video, this was the one that I was least disappointed by. I think I still gave it three stars. Like, I still enjoyed this, it just wasn't what I was expecting. Next I want to talk about An Object of Beauty by Steve Martin. I love Steve Martin, I trusted Steve Martin, but this follows our main character Lacey as she works her way up through the art world of New York City, which sounds so promising, but this is utterly plotless. And I think the counter to that is usually, well, then it's character study, but it's not because none of the characters are well written or dynamic or remotely interesting. This novel did nothing for me, which really sucks because it's probably one of the prettiest books that I own. It's got these pretty end papers and uh, full color illustrations of the, the real art that's in the book. But then again, I think I got this brand new not thrifted at a real bookstore for two dollars, so that probably should have been a sign. Next is one that I was personally really excited for. It's got the best title and a great cover and a great premise, but this is 1988 I Want to Talk with the World by Han Han. This is translated from Chinese and it follows our main character as he makes an unlikely alliance with a sex worker and then makes a road trip across China to some undisclosed location, and meanwhile he's getting these flashbacks of his childhood and we start to get an idea of where they might be headed to. I was also excited for this because the author is a famous Chinese blogger, but his day job is a race car driver? But for me this is just so terrifically blah. Actually just reading the synopsis again was more fun than reading the actual book. You know those books where you just don't connect to anything, not the characters, not the storyline, not the writing. This is one of them unfortunately, although I really wanted to like it. The next one will also be unpopular. This video also serves as a guide on how to alienate your subscribers. It's Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. Didn't love it. I won't say I disliked it, but holy hell is this hyped up. And again, this just felt very adolescent to me and I really had to force myself to pick it up at times. I guess I would say it was entertaining, but it was almost the equivalent of eating junk food or something, like empty calories. But then again, I live off of empty calories, so... And the last book is the most disappointing book I have ever read, and it is On the Road by Jack Kerouac, and I am not afraid to tear this book apart. Okay, so let's back up for a second. I thought I was gonna love this book so hard. Everything about it pulled me in. The road trips, the adventure, the beat culture. But this entire book is this dude driving around on other people's money and being a racist, sexist ass mite. Oh, I hated this. I really genuinely hated this. It's the same story, regurgitated four or five times in the same book. No one is likable, least of all the main characters. And it just really heavily disappointed me. I own one other Kerouac, and maybe someday I'll give him another try, but he just has so much to make up for. Alright, I feel better now. I hope you got something out of this, and I hope you're having a great day, and I will see you soon. Bye!